another week, another list. This is the Hot 10 Comics of the Week Breakdown. Welcome back to another video. This really popped when I saw it. That to me is a monster increase. Again, this book got hot. This book is ready to go higher. So let's jump right into it. We are back today with another statue review from Diamond Select Toys. Without further ado, let's get into the review. What is good YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles and thank you for joining me for another video here on the channel. Of course today we break down the 10 hottest comics according to the Key Collector app. If you guys aren't familiar with this one, I tell you which books I'd be buying and adding to the collection and which ones I'd be selling or staying the hell away from. But before we get started in this video, like always, I remind you guys if you're not a current subscriber of the channel, do me a favor, click that sub button. We're almost at 5,000 subs and I'm giving away an Iron Man 1. Also, smash that like button, guys. Let's get this video up to 300 likes. How about that? And of course, check out all the new merch I have for sale down below. The link is in the description of every video. With that said, let's get into this week's breakdown. At the 10 spot this week is a copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 601 and this controversial cover by the great J. Scott Campbell featuring Mary Jane Watson and a CGC 9.8 just sold last week for only 500 bucks up a crazy 29% over that average. Now, I love J. Scott Campbell. I don't talk about him nearly enough on this channel. I love his artwork, especially female artwork, but am I going to pay $500 for a 9.8 copy of this book? You know I'm not. Again, if you want to own this book, I suggest buying a nice high-grade copy. It doesn't have to be graded. Keep it raw, and it'll be a hell of a lot less expensive. At the 9th spot on this week's list is a copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 361 and the first appearance of Carnage and a CGC. 9.8 just sold the prior week for 565 bucks again up another crazy 32 percent over that average again i enjoyed carnage i remember when that first comic came out back in the 1990s so many people were going crazy over this character me yes i want to own the book i do own the book a nice high grade raw copy but i don't want to spend a crazy 500 and change for a 9.8 copy of this one in my opinion just own the book and don't pay high prices for this character. At the 8th spot this week is a monster key. It is a copy of Action Comics number 252 and the first appearance of Supergirl. But not only that, this is also the first appearance of Metallo and a CGC 4.5 just sold last week for 2640 bucks up 6% over the average. We also had a slab 3.5 sale of $2,150, up 17% over the average. This is one of the best Silver Age DC keys you can buy right here. I'm a big fan of this book. I definitely think if you're a DC fan, Superman, Supergirl is one you should own. I'm giving it a thumbs up if you're a fan of this character. At number 7 on this week's list is a copy of Legend of Zelda number 1 and the comic book series inspired by the Legend of Zelda video game on the original Nintendo console system. Of course, this book was at number 10 last week and a slabbed 9.8 just sold last week for $1,400, up 2% over the average. We also had a CGC 8.5 sale of $260, up 4% since 2021. You guys know... All these Nintendo books are hot right now because of Nintendo building out their own universe for their own cinematic films. Now, I will say this, guys. Am I a buyer of these Nintendo covers? You know I'm not. I don't want to spend the money that they're going for right now in high grade to own these books. I'd rather own, be honest, a video game, possibly a graded WADA video game for the first appearance of these characters. I know they're a ton of money. Don't get me wrong. But that's actually the true first appearance, right? The video games came before the comics. That's what I'd rather own. At the 6th spot on this list is a copy of Fantastic Four number 49 and the first full appearance of Galactus. This is also the second appearance of the Silver Server. And there's a rumor out there right now that Antonio Banderas will be taking on the role as Galactus in the new Fantastic Four film. And a CGC 6.5 just sold last week for a whopping $1,659 bucks up 4% over the average. It seems like this book was just getting crushed and now all of a sudden it's heading back up. We also had a CGC 5.0 sale for $1,150 up 8% over that average. I'm happy we're finally seeing this book go up in value again. 
one of my favorite Silver Age Fantastic Four keys. This is a must-own book, in my opinion, going forward. If you're a comic book collector and one of the staples, I think, in a Silver Age collection, you guys know I'm always a buyer of this one. But again, you have to hold on to these books for the long term. No more MCU spec going on in comic collecting. At number five this week is one of my top Bronze Age keys and personally one of my favorite characters in its Amazing Spider-Man number 129 and the first appearance of Frank Castle and the Punisher. This is also the first appearance of the Jackal and a slabbed 9.6 copy just sold last week for insane $10,000 up 23% over the average. Who says Bronze Age books aren't that hot? But you guys know I always say this to you guys, there's only five I want to own. ASM 129, Hulk 181, Giant Size X-Men 1, Marvel Spotlight 5, and Hulk number 180. We also had a CGC 8.5 sale of $4,015, up a crazy 39% over that average. Man, I'm happy to see this book finally going up in value again. I think people are a little bit overpaying for these books. I think you can get a lot better deals right now going on the Instagram live sales, possibly even on eBay. Yes, I'm always a buyer of this book. I love it. I want to hold on to this one forever. It's one of the few books in my collection that I will never get rid of. At number four this week is a book that I actually just sold to a subscriber of the channel, and this always happens to me. Every time I sell a book, it seems to appear on the hot list the next week. It is a copy of Conan the Barbarian, number one, and the first appearance of Conan, and a CGC. 9.8. I can't believe a 9.8 sold last week for 7,200 bucks, up 5% over the average. We also had a CGC 6.0 sale of 350 bucks, up 1% over that average. I've always enjoyed Conan in comic books, but there hasn't been a decent film or TV show since the original film with Arnold Schwarzenegger. To me, yes, I want to own the book, but I'm not spending any kind of crazy money on a super high grade copy. Again, a 50604 roll for around two to 300 bucks. That's where I'm willing to spend the money. Other than that, I'd be staying away, but definitely a staple in any comic book collection. At number three on this list is a book that's been on the list for about a month and a half. It is a copy of Star Wars Heir to the Empire number one and the first appearance of Admiral Thrawn and a CGC 9.8 just sold the prior week for 1075 bucks, up 4% over the average. When are we going to get rid of this book on this list? It's becoming another Omega Men number three first appearance of Lobo. Again, I know I'm kidding you guys. A lot of people out there love Star Wars. I'm not a modern Star Wars collector, so I'm not buying it. But hey, if you are, just be careful. For me, I don't want to own this book in a 9.8, but you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. Coming in at number two was one of my favorite Copper Age keys of all time. It is a copy of Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars number eight and the origin of the Black Cindy costume. This is one of my favorite covers from this age, and it is absolutely iconic. And a CGC. 9.6 just sold last week for only 350 bucks up 6% over the average. We also had a CGC 9.0 sale for only $240 up 9% over the average. I said it way back when I want to own this book. I want to own Amazing Spider-Man number 252. I love the symbiote costume and that storyline when it happened in Marvel Comics was one of my favorites to date. I always want to own this book. I think it's a staple in any comic book collection. But hey, if you want to own a 9.8, I'm definitely recommending recommending it one of the best keys you could buy from the copper age in my opinion and making its way to the top spot this week it is a copy of wolverine number one and this classic cover by the great frank miller this is also the first solo title featuring wolverine albeit a limited series and a cgc 9.8 just sold last week for a whopping 715 bucks up only one percent over the average so why the hell is it at number one regardless guys you guys know i love this book but i'm not spending anywhere near that kind of money for a 9.8 i said before it is a staple in any comic book collection something everyone out there should own but buy it in lower grade if you can get a 9.0 or a 9.2 for around 200 bucks that's where i'd be putting my money i'm not buying a 9.8 of this one Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Some new books on this list finally and some great ones to boot. It is now time for my best buy of the week and I think you guys probably know what it is. It is Amazing Spider-Man number 129 and the first appearance of the Punisher. Now a lot of people out there tell you right now the Bronze Age isn't where I'd be buying comic books but hey I gave you five that I always want to own. If you're a long-term collector I think you're okay buying these books. Just don't go crazy. With that said guys I hope you enjoyed another list. This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles saying thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.